Rafi me la vida de Gelicólogo, me encuentro aquí en Epicon y me encuentro con Zach Collison. Hey. Oh, thank you, thank you. So, first question, um, what, what, went through, what went through your mind when you got the call back and you made the, you, you made the lead for Steve Jenner? Uh, it was cool, man. I, you know, I recorded the initial audition in the studio with my, my vocal teacher and spent about an hour and a half on it, had a good feeling on it when I sent it out. Um, you know, stoked about the callback, but in the business, you callbacks generally, you know, don't mean anything. I, I book maybe, if I'm lucky, one in 25 jobs off a callback. It's, um, you go in and, you know, you just do your best job, and I felt good about that, too. And getting the call was really cool. At the time, it was still a pilot, so I was just excited to be doing more voice work um, on top of what I'd already done. And um, the real, like, big news came later that year when I went back in to do ADR, and they were like, oh, yeah, by the way, the show got picked up. Sorry nobody mentioned that to you. It's like, what? Okay. And then three months later, we had started production on the show itself. The show, uh, like, uh, has transcended, you know, it's, even though it's a cartoon show, and even though it's a cartoon network, the, the show has transcended so many ages, and it has trans it transcended uh, genders. You know, even the, uh, the LGBT community has looked up to, to the show. They have, they have spoken so well about the show. Were you expecting back then, when everything started, to the show to be this big? No, never. You, you, you never anticipated with any project that you start on, really, um, in most cases. Uh, I, I thought the show was great. I was really excited to be a part of it. Um, I thought I could go somewhere, and I just didn't expect. I didn't know Rebecca was, had this you know, vision of inclusiveness for the show um, and, and have it reflect through the character of Steven being you know, um, so inclusive of his friends and people around him and assuming the best in people. And um, that was, that was a pleasant surprise, um, the good kind of unexpected, if you will. Uh, it was, it, it really hit home for me around the time Jailbreak came out and then we started doing San Diego Comic Con and having our own panels there and the fan response became overwhelming. I was like, this is beyond anything I'd ever imagined, uh, but I'm very glad that it has been. Perfect. Um, I'm going to put you on the spot. Sorry. Sure. Um, I want you to look at the camera and tell me something, what's going on, what's going to happen in the future. What can you tell us about what's going to happen in the future of Stevie Nurse? A lot. <laughs> Yeah, there's been a, a big break. I mean, it was kind of a, a cliffhanger with, with what happened with Lars, but definitely a lot of questions to be answered there. We have a bit of a murder mystery going with, um, you know, some of the, the past stuff from the show involving uh, important characters that will do stuff. I can't, I can't say much. Rebecca would have my head. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I tried to get something for you guys. Hey, but I, I appreciate your effort. You have to do it. You got to do I it. I have to do it. Thank you. thank you, sir. Thank you for everything. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you.